Freedom Daily News. Man trying to be first Muslim governor just got nasty surprise from Trump after what he found out. It was only a matter of time before Muslims took the reign of power in Michigan by claiming government roles. What has started in this state is the first step in the bigger picture to get a traditional Muslim in the White House as President of the United States. Globalists found the perfect Muslim to take this position and fits the bill to stealthily infiltrate Islam into every facet of society and change the way America functions to cater to their deranged beliefs. Dr. Abdul Al Syed is young, intelligent, clean-cut, and presents himself with an attractive facade to hide the hate he harbors. He recently began referring to himself the new Obama to appeal to the people desperate to have a dictator like this back in office. His assimilation to the former Democratic president is accurate, as the two deceitful men have a lot in common, none of which needs to be in the White House again. Now, he's breaking laws and hiding a lot to get what he wants. The 32-year-old Muslim has a way to go to get to his goal in 2020 of a presidential run, which begins with essentially taking control of the state of Michigan. His fate for this state position is to be decided in November. But the current commander-in-chief just slapped him with a nasty surprise that could derail the first Muslim governor's plans indefinitely. The quiet approach Democrats, globalists, and El Syed himself are using to gain control over the state is no coincidence. That have to sneak him on people with strategic moves for the plan to work since it requires him breaking federal law to make it happen. Trump was wise to Barack Obama's manipulation of the American people and sees the same in El Syed with the common tactic they have both employed. Democrats know that handouts to their minions are the easiest way to get what they want in return, as well as to maintain power over people. One of the main reasons that Obama overhauled health care and put it in government control in his final months in office, is because it's the ultimate control the government can have over citizens. Now, El Syed has followed his lead with a sick thing he's secretly done behind the scenes. According to The Guardian, the doctor has pledged universal health care to all Michiganders if it fails on the federal level, says he will push to legalize marijuana and says he will raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour and make Michigan a sanctuary state. El Syed is essentially telling every liberal exactly what they are desperate to hear and he has them practically eating out of his hand with all of these promises. Unfortunately, one of these big promises breaks the law and leftists thought nobody would realize it as long as they kept it under the radar. Since it happens to be one of President Trump's biggest issues, he found out about what the first Muslim governor hopeful was trying to do behind his back and responded with a nasty surprise. Now is not the time to try and become a so-called sanctuary state since Trump has worked hard to remove this status from every city pushing this, through funding punishments and other threats. He's pretty serious about it too with a federal law to stop states from as harboring illegal immigrants. El Syed's promise to Michiganders is not only impossible, but it violates federal law. Having discovered this, Trump was wanted to know more about this candidate and turned to a trusted friend to find out, Sebastian Gorka. Gorka, a former military and intelligence analyst, is also an expert on the so-called religion of peace and is wise to the disguise they use here in America. Trump reached out to him to get some information on this mysterious Muslim candidate in Michigan, in hopes of exposing who he suspected he was tied to. His suspicions were correct and now things are looking too good for El Syed in 2018 for governor. There is one common denominator behind all political evil in this country and that's billionaire George Soros. Unsurprisingly, he's tied to El Syed through his brother, but the Christian Post reports a more nefarious secret the Muslim has been hiding, referring to what he's doing as stealth jihad. In addition to being given special educational advantages via Paul Soros, El Syed's involvement with the Muslim Brotherhood, which we've reported on before, is worse than we realized, although, of course he denies this. Christian Post reports. El Syed has substantial connections to the Muslim Brotherhood in both his past and present. So the suspicion that El Syed may harbor Islamist convictions and be a Trojan horse are not unfounded 
especially given the reality of what some have dubbed a stealth jihad. According to the Middle East Forum, the Muslim Brotherhood differs from other radical jihadist groups in strategy, but not in goals. Both the Brotherhood and groups like ISIS seek to destroy the West and establish Sharia, or Islamic, law. But while groups like ISIS promote a military means of conquering the West, the Brotherhood, as stated in its internal documents, seeks to penetrate and destroy Western civilization from within, sabotaging its miserable house by their own hands. As a result, the Brotherhood tends to be more deceptive in language and appearance, actively recruiting Muslim professionals and intellectuals, who can infiltrate Western legal and social systems without detection. Thanks to the diligence of our president to not look past the obvious dangers and red flags, in an effort to protect America, Trump, with the help of Gorka, may have just saved the state of Michigan from deceitful demise.